Good afternoon, everybody. Got a whole bunch of finished knives to show you today. I've been on a knife making tirade here the last couple of days. Just about caught up. I'm going to show you all these. Half of these are going to be shipped out um, tomorrow morning. And the other ones, as I go along and show you uh, when I get the scabbards finished up, I'll uh, get those out probably Thursday morning. At the very latest, Friday morning. So let's get started and show you what we got here. Uh, my friend Mark. These are yours. Three Creek Skinners. I'm only going to show one side of these. Now these are all made out of the same handle material. This is uh, white oak. Now this oak came from, uh, let me think, I'm thinking New Mexico. And it's actually made out of a church pew that they had to take out of the church. And the guy took it and cut it up in pieces and saved it. And he's used a, um, a few pieces of it on projects. And then he sent me a bunch of it and in a trade back last year, I believe it was. So, uh, Mark, I thought you might like that. That handle materials had a, a lot of good music go through it, a lot of preaching, a lot of teaching. So, pretty cool. The second one and this one. The master sergeant was over last week and helped me out with these scabbards and he was here yesterday and helped me with some more. Uh, they're not all the same. He likes to change things up, make things different. And I like that too. I think that's pretty neat. And there's there's a third one. There's the three that you wanted. It's pretty good and they're all made out of the same hand material. It's all out of that all out of one piece. But there's yours. When I get done doing this, I'm going to take these in the house, package them up, and get them ready to go to you. Now, these next three are... Oh, excuse me, I'm going to have to check my notes here. Josh. Joshua, these are yours. There's the camp knife that you wanted. So we can get a good picture of that. I did some blade etching on that for you, a little extra blade etching. I think that's what you wanted. That one. And here's your JNL Skinner. Now this one, the antler, this uh, antler tine on this one, sort of unique. The way it grew, it grew a little knot in there. So I thought that was pretty cool. So that one and your chef knife. Good size chef knife. Now this handle material here, this is teak wood. It's got a tongue oil finish on it. Came out pretty good. Now, chef knives, what I know is going to be used in the kitchen. I got another one I'll show you here in a few minutes. Um, I don't put gun, gun blue on those. That's just polished out pretty good, and there's a light coat of vegetable oil on there. Now, over time, these will get their natural patina, they'll turn a brown sort of a brown dark color. I'll show you an example. A color like this. Just over time they'll turn that color. This one by the way is working on a hundred years old. It's a very very old knife. It was gave it to me. It's in my personal collection. Well it's in my butchering kit. I actually use that. That's what they're made for is to use. 
there's that one. Right now we have a Crown Stag Skinner. Let me look and see who that was. I'm sorry, I can't remember everybody's name. Right off hand. Uh, I'm looking. I'm looking. Y'all bear with me, I'm sorry. I've been hot and heavy for the last couple days. I've been out here all morning and it's starting to get hot. So. Oh, I remember now. Andrew. Andrew, there's your classic Skinner. Brass finger guard. Real nice skinner. Up there, my buddy Ryan. Now, if I remember correctly, uh, Ryan got some knives last year. Ryan's one of those guys with the great big old paws. On the creek skinner with a stag handle. There you go. And there's actually a little bit of hair still on that one before I cut it off. Fits in the hand real good. I think you'll like that one. That one's coming to you. Uh, my buddy Mossy Nut. wanted a stag handle creek skinner and the other one's not ready I got two for you but it's not quite ready the little one there it is there's yours nice little scabbard there Now, well, let me look at my notes. Russell, you want a six inch chef knife with a stag handle. So there's you a six inch chef knife. And I used crown stag because I had a piece that fit it pretty good. Now the same as the other chef knife, I'm not gonna put any kind of finish on it. Just a light coat of vegetable oil because it'll turn colors just like that other one. Though. But now I don't have a little scabbard made for yours yet. I'll do that tonight or tomorrow. Just to, something, something to hold it in there. So that's coming to you probably Thursday. Let's see who else we got here. Brandon. Brandon ordered a J. Nell Skinner. There you go. Now this one I put a uh, piece of walnut on the end. Put my maker's mark on the end there. There you go. I still got to make your scabbard too. Okay, Ken. You wanted one of the plastic handle fillet knives? There you go right there. And let's see. Allen fillet knife. 
the dark handle, so that's walnut handles on this one. Look at it one more time. And let's see, we had one more fillet knife for Alright, hang on, I'll find you. Hmm. Ain't it fun watching me dance around like this? Even after I write stuff down, I still can't find it. Uh, it may be wrote down on my other list, but anyway, there's another fillet knife with dark handles. Almost just like that one. And let me turn the camera and show you right over here. I've got three more of those. They're glued up. Uh, a couple of camp knives and a fillet knife all glued up, ready to go. But it'll be ready by in the morning. It'll be dry real good. So that's what we got going on right now. Now I normally don't get that many orders at one time. And I don't normally get backed up like that. But you know, things happen. So, um, for especially uh, Mark and Josh. Uh, sorry about the wait on y'all, but uh, they're done. They'll be out there on the way to you. Uh, let me see what else was I going to say. I was asked too, um, do I keep anything in stock? Anything you can look at to buy? No, I basically bill to order. You order it and I make it. Because I just don't have time to get a bunch made up. I tried that last year, around, especially around Christmas time. I tried to get a bunch made up and it just it didn't work. I just I didn't have time between orders and making because I mean the knife shop is uh, I'd say 80% of what I do it's my hobby it's what I like to do but I've got a lot of other things to do and I just don't have time to uh, keep a bunch of stuff in stock and it's just me basically making the knives and uh, master's hard to help me with scabbards when I get behind and I really appreciate him uh, thank him a lot for coming over and helping because he lives it's, uh, about 30 miles over to where he lives so he drives all the way over and helps me out I appreciate that but uh, that's what we got going for right now like I said I'll, everything's ready to ship I'll get shipped and the rest of it will be in another day or two and Yes, I know. I'm going to try to get some homesteading stuff done, try to get outside and do something, but it's just it's so hot out there. And I'm still not 100%, so I can't get out there in it. I, just, I don't want to take a chance on either hurting myself or getting sick again or anything like that. I, just, I don't want to deal with all that. So for now, I'll keep plugging away on these. Uh, if I, you got an order in, if I didn't call your name, you're on the list. When all these get cleared out, I'll get started again. Uh, if you want to put an order in, the best way to do it is go to the Facebook page and go on the messages, or you can message on YouTube. Either way, it doesn't matter. Or just leave a comment on YouTube if you need to. If you, because YouTube should have, I think, a button. You look at somebody's page, there should be a great big button on there that says message. And all you gotta do is click it without having to go to all them other places. But I'm not in charge of YouTube, so, you know, what do I know? They won't listen to me. So. But, um, just any way you can get word to me, if you want something, just, you know, let me know, and I'll do my best to get it done for you. Well, I'm fixing to go in. I've got to rest a little bit. Y'all have a good day. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. I'll see y'all next time.